The people are fighting back against the demolition of a mill that was built more than two centuries ago in Glastonbury. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Susanna is live in Glastonbury now with the latest twist in this dispute. I've read a little bit about it, Roger, but what exactly is going on? Yeah, Dennis, this is really an interesting situation, and it's definitely a battle that we've seen before here in Glastonbury with business development versus historic preservation. But the town manager here in Glastonbury is still hopeful that some sort of compromise can be worked out. I want you to take a look at some videos so that you know exactly what we're talking about here and you know what this debate is all about. This is what's left of the old Hartford Manufacturing cotton mill that was built way back in the early 1800s in the section of Glastonbury that is now known as Cotton Hollow. The ruins are located at the end of a popular hiking trail here in town, but the structure could disappear in the very near future. The land that the old mill sits on is private property, and the current owner, Amy Rio, is trying to sell. Neighbors also claim that Rio recently began preparing to demolish the old mill. Now, town manager Richard Johnson would not confirm that, but he did say he recently alerted Rio that she can't demolish the property without a special permit. That law is designed to help owners of historic structures work out compromises with town leaders. Tonight, Rio is expected to discuss the issue at town council meeting. But in the meantime, more than 4,000 people have signed a petition against the proposal organized by local teen Wesley Harris. Tonight, Harris, along with local historian Dr. Brian Schiffer, will ask the town council members and Rio to figure out a solution that works for everyone while preserving the old mill. I think it's so important to hang on to it because um, as we start to lose the physical reminders of you know the past and especially of our town history, um, as that sort of starts to get replaced by new uh, developments, things like that, housing, things like that, we start to forget our own history too. You lose uh, artifacts like this, you lose history, you lose the towns, if not the state's identity. And by the way, we did reach out to the property owner. We did not hear back, but we do hope to hear from the property owner at tonight's meeting. By the way, that meeting begins at 7 o'clock at Town Hall. We are expecting a huge turnout. Reporting live tonight in Glastonbury, I'm Roger Susannon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.